Welcome back. It's now time for business. Non-performing loans for banks jumped to a high of 15.6% in 2023, occasioned by a challenging business environment and an asset quality that was going downwards. The latest Central Bank Annual Supervision Report indicates that the increase in bad loans from 13.2% in 2022 was fueled by increased interest rates, reflecting the tightening of the monetary policy stance and liquidity conditions in the market. The latest annual supervision report by the Central Bank of Kenya shows that the banking industry gross non-performing loans increased by 28.6% to 647.4 billion shillings in 2023. This is against a loan book of 4 trillion shillings that banks advanced to various sectors. The ratio of non-performing loans to gross loans increased to 15.3% from 13.8%. 8% in 2022 attributed to the high cost of borrowing as a result of the central bank increasing its CBR rate and the weak business environment. This prompted banks in 2023 to set aside 527 billion shillings to cover the non-performing loans. Chachi Logutu, an economist at IC Group, is calling for adjustment of monetary policy stance in next review, proposing a reduction of the benchmark lending rate by 300 basis to reflect the current inflationary environment as well as reduce the cost of credit. Actually inclined towards supporting a cut. The 300 basis points, I mean, is here, not there, but towards a cut. We are behind the curve in the sense that even inflation was starting to had started showing uh, signs that it's coming lower because basically as a monetary policy response is basically to be counter cyclical not act on the data that is there but how will the data be and then start coming in but those uh, my view uh, was that uh, the cuts were backward looking rather than forward looking the benchmark lending rate was pushed at an 11-year high of 13% in February this year and has remained at that rate, making the cost of loans expensive. The annual supervisory report indicates that in 2023, banks posted 8.8% decline in combined pre-tax profits that dipped from 240.4 billion shillings in 2022 to 219 billion shillings in 2023, which was attributed to an increase in total expenses. Gerald Nyaoma, Director, Bank Supervision Department at the Apex Bank, noted that deepening the greening of the banking sector is top of the agenda in 2024. In addition, the central bank is keen on strengthening banking sector liquidity by issuance of internal liquidity assessment process guidance notes, strengthening of the anti-money laundering framework, as well as a move towards a near real-time supervision through the collection of supervisory data on an almost real-time basis. Wedemo Jenga for Prime Edition.